able to find direct eyewitnesses and corroborate that this event did happen. When individuals would target in on it with the optics, the way it was described, each of these hanging things, they were stiff, like they weren't moving. They had geometric form, like scales. <laughs> that's so awesome, man. Okay, that's a great, that's a great video. Chris Lado, welcome to Lado Files. Okay, the jellyfish UFO. All right, are we gonna have to look at it right now? All right, jellyfish UFO. I haven't heard of this. Two hours ago, okay, oh, restricted, damn it. News Nation is restricted. Okay, here we go. All right, found it. What the gel? Leaked U.S. military vid shows jellyfish UFO hurtling over Iraq as troops were told to hunt it down, says investigator. Nice. The UFO allegedly invaded a nuclear facility of the U.S. Oh, is that it right there? Sweet. Shocking footage reveals a jellyfish-looking UFO hurtling in the skies over Iraq, an investigative filmmaker has claimed. Jeremy Corbell said the leaked video was captured by the U.S. military in 2018, and troops were told to hunt it down. The jellyfish-looking UFO was allegedly filmed over Iraq in 2018. Okay, so I, uh, this looks like targeting pod right here. Yeah, that should be a targeting pod. So let's see if we can look at it or if it's going to be... Okay, cool. <laughs> what the oh, man? It's in thermal. It was filmed on a weapons platform. That's you so see creepy. that there's a dog there. You see the animals are black. I'm assuming this is black hot. You see the object just went to white. And you'll see it going from white to black, white to black. And that's basically showing the heat differential. So it's going like hot and cold, hot and cold. The problem was the optics platform was jammed. These individuals who target with these platforms, they can shoot out an Al-Qaeda tire at 27 miles away, but not being able to lock it was one of the first signs that something's weird. The infrared, it's gonna be a UAV. I was able to find direct eyewitnesses and corroborate that this event did happen. When individuals would target in on it with the optics, the way it was described, each of these hanging things, they were stiff, like they weren't moving. They had geometric form, like scales, what was said to be scales, like an armor. There were also people with night vision who were out and they were tasked to, to go look for it. Couldn't see it on the night vision, only in the thermal spectrum could it be seen. But anything that looks like have a payload, that's a big deal. So these are high priority. But what happened is there were a couple other nations involved and the feeds were shut, just shut immediately. You know, like the angle, I feel like we're low. It feels like it's like helicopter altitudes or something. It's not that high. It's like eight or 10, 8,000 feet or something. Lower even. <laughs> that's so awesome, man. Okay, that's a great, that's a great video. It looks like they have it for a long time as well. And nothing's moving. Oh, man, that's so creepy. It reminds me of the witch. Kind of the witch video, how it's moving. So I think I'd feel like we'd be able to tell if it's day or night. You, you can tell from the heat. You get different differential uh, temperatures, right? So at night, the ground will be normally cooler. If you look at these cars, right? So cold. So cold is going to be white now is what I would say. So it's it's probably black hot there. 
That's a really good video. Let's see what this, the Daily Mail says. Not visible to the naked eye hovering over town in video buried by intelligence community. What is that thing, man? Wow, that's so creepy. I mean, and it's like changing color. I don't know. It looks so weird. Like it's not moving in the wind. And how big is it? So you can tell, right? Usually it's it's not going to be bigger than anything behind it, right? Wow, that was amazing. It must be on his X. So zoomed in. So, you know, based on the size, it's going to be smaller than what's behind it, right? Because it's closer. So it's maybe a couple meters tall. <laughs> what, the, what the hell, man? And it changes. Why would it change like that? It's like the temperature on it is changing or the the gain. I don't know why that would why how how that would even be happening. Because you look, the background's not changing. Like it's changing. Okay, so this is definitely black hot, right? So you see the I'm guessing that's a cow. So that's black hot. So this thing's kind of warm right now. It's warm, so it's almost almost same temperature. You know, that's a little darker as an animal and like a jellyfish or something. Not a jelly, it's more like an octopus. It's able to change. That's That's just a weird image, man. What the hell? So it changed temperature all at the same time? Wow. Interesting. Is the auto contrast changing? It's not. If you look at the back, I might go to his X. Oh, cool. If I... Okay, raw footage of a military filmed UAP incursion with the United States Joint Operation Base. This UAP of unknown origin displayed trans medium capability. And it's been officially designated by the United States intelligence agencies as a UAP. It looks, man, that's just amazing. Raw footage re received video one, date time, October 2018. So it says it is at night. It felt like at night because there was no shadows. You know, I was looking for shadows on those um, concrete containers because you can tell pretty easily that way. So it was taken at joint base operations in Iraq. I was at Balad in 06. Thermographic, thermographic, forward looking infrared. Seems like it's from, it feels like a UAV, but could be one of those little 238 or whatever twin engines, Cessnas. So event description, an incursion by an object of unknown origin was filmed at a United States Joint Ops Base in Iraq. The object was designated UAP and was tracked for a durational period. The object moved through a sensitive military installation and eventually traversed over a body of water where it actuated a controlled descent submerging into the water. Holy shit, look at that. After an observation period of about 17 minutes, the UAP reemerged from the body of water and shot off an extreme rate of speed. Holy shit, man. If that's real, that's amazing. How do they get that information? Beyond the optical scope of the observation platform. Okay, so the, it sounds like the, the platform watched it go underwater, come out, and then shoot off at an extreme rate of speed. The origin, intent, and capability of the anomalous area of vehicle remains unknown. Official designation remains UAP. Additional details reported by direct eyewitnesses and those familiar with the 
full raw footage. So I guess this isn't the full raw footage. The UAP displayed transmedium capability into the water. That's so awesome. The UAP was filmed entering the water with a controlled descent. The UAP emerged from the water about 17 minutes later and oriented into a sudden and rapid directional flight beyond the optical range of the platform monitoring it. I wonder if they show that in the video. The UAP displayed low observability. The UAP was not visible with night vision IR and appeared to jam the targeting capability of the optical platform. Jam an optical platform. I don't know how you do that. And how are you not visible in IR, man? Everything. UAP displayed positive lift without the normally associated aerodynamic means for lift and thrust. Signatures typically associated with the propulsion maneuvers observed were absent. Yes, that is so awesome. You guys hear that sound? It's just Okay, so that's a... It's like a filming of a video with a phone. Okay, yeah, 3.5 kilometers. Not changing though. That looks like to a steer point, maybe. 73 meters. We always had a meter stick, man. It would just tell you right here, like how many meters this line is. And then that makes it easy, but you know, two meters. 3.5 kilometers though, and this heading, I, I would I was expecting to see that change. So I don't think that's your target direction. I think this, I don't know. You know, E-flight. Uh, I don't, I'm sort of, I, I don't know that terminology. Definitely an infrared, if it's not, at night you can go, but you can go to look at night, but it you won't get a great image, obviously. What's so freaky is it's not moving like there's nothing not moving like a balloon. Just <laughs> like a robot or something just floating around. What the hell is that thing, man? It's so awesome. Cool. So you can see the people there. So if you look, it's it's smaller than people basically. Um so maybe it's three feet tall, you know, depending how far away it is. It's about five meters high. Well, you, how can you tell how high it is? There's no, no shadow. Looks like La Bruja, the witch, you know, moving across the creepy desert at night. They got it on IR. So here it's showing up, you know, dark. Jellyfish. Let me see if this is different. Okay, that's like the same. Get a little bigger. Okay, well, that's amazing. That is a great video. I mean, that's fantastic. And they effect, actually have it leaving. I mean, look at that where it changes. You do see the background kind of gain a little bit. I don't know. Did you? It gaining is weird, man, at night. I don't know. You can get weird effects just from lighting. Like, I'm kind of getting the impression that maybe it's moving into a brighter area of lights and like lights are hitting it and it's changing its its reflectivity or something. But does that work if it's an IR? Hmm. At night though, you will see that the the environmentals work differently than during than in the visible spectrum. And sometimes you can just have weird visual effects. And that's why we're always changing the polarities. Again, they just never change polarities. Maybe they can. That, that's where you go from white hot to black hot, white hot, black hot, white hot, black hot. It just helps you break out depth. I think it helps our human brains break out depth, et cetera. Oh, yeah. 
it certainly doesn't look fake, right? That would be my first. And I get, is this the only one we get? Do we get any f longer? So far, this is all I could find. That's so there's a fence. Is that your base fence? Could have your base perimeter right there. Wow, interesting. That's a good one. I mean, that's going to make news for sure. It's like a flying spaghetti monster or something. It's a flying spaghetti monster. What the hell? <laughs> I mean, that's just an insane. Okay, well, thanks, guys. That was awesome. That's a great that's a great video. I mean to start out really amazing. Really amazing. I love that video. The TMZ special, yeah. So I know I heard it's free. They said to watch on Tubi to watch the TMZ special. All right guys, hour and a half. Imp that's what it reminded me of, the Imperial probe droid, man. That thing looks like an Imperial probe droid. Or yeah, the killer flying spaghetti monster. It looked like the Imperial probe droid. Yeah, in there he basically says, um, we'll have to go watch it. I don't want to take away from his um his release. It sounds like there's more eyewitness accounts. Jeremy Corbell again killing it, George Knapp. Yeah, I I hope this year that we, we see less vitriol, we can uh, avoid all that and realize that most of it's probably disinformation and just keep our eye on the prize. Let me see if I can get that back. But that is amazing. Wow. Already. Already 2024. Just killing it. Mr. Magius ghost type Pokemon. <laughs> I don't know, George. Could it be bird poop on the glass housing? It might be. It's a smudge. It's a smudge on the camera. mode yeah these are like these temporary shelters you see and they these are your like your sandbags to defend against mortars the so mortars hit i remember we lived in the structures like this for like six months uh, these are your barracks i think you got all the sandbags laying around them just checking things out just just a lonely imperial droid Coming to see what's going on, everybody. I mean, this is anomalous to me. I, I'm a, I would love to see where it goes in the water. He says it goes into the water and then shoots off at a high rate of speed. It's going to be awesome. Man, 2024. That's a great video. This really is a great video. Estimated speed. I mean, you saw how fast those people were walking, 10 miles an hour. It could be wind speed, but normally you see something else moving. I, and it doesn't move like a balloon. It just moves so weird. I got, man, I guess it could be, but you think you'd see... You think you'd see dust or something moving on the ground. There was really enough wind to push it like this. Yeah. All right, everyone. Thanks for being here. Hope you enjoyed this uh, live stream. I'll try and do more of these. So Tuesday, if you want to ask questions, make sure your questions get answered right away. You can be a Patreon. You go to patreon.com forward slash Chris Lato. I'll answer your questions first, as well as exclusive videos. I released an exclusive video on what I did last year, the three things really that uh, made a huge benefit in my life. Um, and you can join uh, YouTube memberships as well. Uh, I do exclusive videos there. And I, considering I'll do a uh, live stream as well, members only this month. So if you want to get a part of that and support the channel, like I said, thank you so much for all the generosity tonight. Thanks again. That really will help. 
Um, I would love to go up to Norway and bring that story for you guys. I was the only one um, covering it. So if you want me to go, let me know. And I would appreciate, again, any support to get up there. Thanks again. Have a great rest of your day. Go 2024. Man, so stoked. Let's let's make it happen, everybody. Tired of, tired of not knowing. All right. Have a great day. Take care. Peace.